welcome to the 2023 Gold Derby Film Awards. Here is your host, the Editor-in-Chief, President and Founder of Gold Derby, Tom O'Neill. Welcome to the 21st Annual Gold Derby Film Awards, which are voted on by thousands of users of Hollywood's original and still number one website about the Oscars, Emmys, and more. And frankly, if our users don't know their stuff about awards, then nobody does. I'm Tom O'Neill, founder and editor of Gold Derby. In years past, we've always sent winners certificates, just like major film award societies do. But this year, we're giving winners our own award statuette, which features Pegasus, the Greek horse in charge of flying Zeus on golden wings up to the top of Mount Olympus. We can thank Conan O'Brien for ribbing us into doing this. I want you to take a look at what he said to us when he won our award for Best TV Variety Series. Not too familiar with what the prize is, you know, guessing it's like a gift certificate for $10,000, $15,000, who knows, or maybe it's an award itself, a very heavy gold award. Whatever it is, as long as it's in that range, I'm going to be very happy until my very expensive award shows up. I'll use this as a place filler. Ah, uh, thrilled. The Gold Derby Award. Thank you so much. Thank you for everyone who voted for us at The Conan Show. And uh, I'll always treasure this until the very expensive prize shows up. I'm sure it's coming. Anyway, thank you. Good night. Well, Conan, don't worry. We're shipping you a new statuette right now, just as they're being sent out to all of our current other winners. But first, let's take a look at a montage of some of our past winners of our Gold Derby Awards for both film or TV in recent years. It's a joy and a privilege to be your best supporting actress. Hi, Gold Derby. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support to me. Thank you so much to Gold Derby and everyone who voted for us. I would like to accept this wonderful award from the Gold Derby. I love the way that you've supported below the line people like me for so many years. Yeah, thank you. I didn't spend any time on your website this award season. <laughs> I was not daily monitoring. <laughs> the predictions, not at all. Thank you so, so much to every member of the Gold Derby who voted for me. Hello, I'm Jane. I'm here to thank you for recognizing The Power of the Dog as Best Picture, um, Best Screenplay, and Best Directing. It's, um, it's with a, a deep amount of gratitude that I thank you for that. It really is a surprise. It's This is not an expected thing. I never thought I was going to ever get anything like this. So thanks very much. I'm appreciative and I think we all are. What do you think? Thank you to Gold Derby and all the voters who voted for me. To Gold Derby. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It takes a village, people. <laughs> Gold Derby. Thank you guys for betting on this horse. I didn't see that one coming at all. And for it to be with Gold Derby, it just means the world. You guys are probably the only remaining um, community of smart people on the internet, I think. You've always been so supportive and asked such um, interesting questions. Thank you to the Gold Derby family for always supporting me in anything that I do and for just seeing me. Man, this is awesome. So thank you so much, Gold Derby. And the name of this award, Gold Derby, I kind of feel like a, a thoroughbred horse, kind of. I was gonna get a big thing of roses around my neck, but I didn't have time. And now let's giddy up and get this show started. Meet some of the editors of Gold Derby who will introduce each award category and then read off the nominees and the winners. Then we'll share the acceptance speeches of more than 95% of our winners, so stick around. And now it's my pleasure to introduce to you our managing editor of Gold Derby, Chris Beecham. 
Thank you, Tom. Our first category today is Best Original Score. Winners of the Gold Derby Film Awards for Best Original Score in previous years have included Alexander Desplat, Michael Giacchino, Trent Reznor, and Atticus Ross. But can you believe the legendary John Williams has never won with us before? That is pretty crazy, right? Well, he's nominated today, and here are the full list of nominees for Best Original Score. They are Babylon, The Banshees of Inishirin, The Batman, The Fablemans, and Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. And the Gold Derby Film Award Best Original Score goes to Babylon. Thank you so much to the Gold Derby community for this. Um, this is really an honor, and I feel like you guys see more movies than anybody else, this community. So to have you guys appreciate what we did um, in the music for Babylon, I, it really means so much. Um, of course, I have to thank Damien. What I, my work is is working towards Damien's vision. Um, I think he made such a unique and special movie and getting to sort of aim for, you know, what he wanted um, on Babylon was was really always my job. So thank you to Damien for everything always. And um, I have to thank the musicians as well because this score, more than any other score I've worked on, depended so much on musicians and musicians bringing their their voices and their personality and their style to it um so uh there are a handful of trumpeters sean jones dante winslow ludo lewis a couple of sax players um leo pellegrino jacob sesney um and a couple of drummers i should think uh, gary novak and peter erskine um and so many others um a whole 98 piece orchestra that I, I can't name every one of them, but the musicians brought so much of themselves to this score and I'm very indebted to them as well. And now Justin Hurwitz is a five time gold derby award winner. And it wasn't even close with Justin winning by over 400 votes. Our next award is for best original song. Listen to some of the famous winners of the gold derby film award for best original song over the years. They include Mick Jagger, Dolly Parton, Eminem, Adele, Lady Gaga, and last year's Billie Eilish, just to name a few. And the nominees this year are Ciao Papa from Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Hold My Hand from Top Gun Maverick, Lift Me Up from Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Natu Natu from RRR, and This Is a Life from Everything Everywhere All at Once. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Natu Natu from RRR. We are very happy to receive this prestigious Golden Award for the original song Natu Natu and I can't express how happy I am right now. This is a great moment for me. Um, I would like to say thanks to my music director Kenan Garu and my director Rajmal Garu and my singers Kala Bhairava and uh, Rahul Sikhidunj and my artist Ram Charan Garu India and uh, my choreographer Prem Rakshit. Thank you so much. The songwriters from RRR are now first time Gold Derby winners, and they took this category decisively by over 400 votes more than anyone else. And now on to our next award for Best Supporting Actor. Everybody nominated for the Supporting Actor Award this year is a first timer, except for Mark Rylance. Villains have won several times over the years including Javier Bardem, Heath Ledger, Christoph Waltz, and Leonardo DiCaprio. And the nominees for Best Supporting Actor are Brendan Gleeson, The Banshees of Inishirin, Brian Tyree Henry, Causeway, Kiwe Kwan, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Barry Cogan, The Banshees of Inishirin, and Mark Rylance for Bones and All. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Ki Wei Kwan, everything, everywhere, all at once. Wow, thank you, thank you so much for this amazing honor. Uh, it's so humbling to be uh, to be mentioned a part of so many great actors uh, and, and to be part of your conversation, it's a real privilege. Uh, this is an amazing honor, thank you. You know, my, my little brother, uh, uh, David Kwan, who went and uh, audition for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom with me. Uh, he's been such a huge supporter of mine. And during this entire awards season, he's constantly um, uh, go to Gold Derby to, to check out all the latest news. 
uh, and also to uh, to look at the awards and stuff like that. And just to see how happy he is and how excited he is uh, means the world to me. In fact, sometimes I think he's even more excited than me. Uh, so thank you uh, for giving him the space uh, to learn about this. And, um, and, and thank you for all your important work. Uh, really, this award it means a lot to me. And I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much, Go Derby. I love you. Wow, that was a massive landslide victory. In all of our 22 categories, nobody had a wider gap between first and second place than Kiwai Kwan. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our next presenter. It's Gold Derby Associate Editor, Latasha Ford. I am so excited to be here today to present our next award. This one is for Best Film Editing. The editing category has often been won by movies with a lot of action. I'm talking about tons of action like Mad Max, Fury Road, and Dune, or musicals like Chicago and La La Land. And the nominees for Best Film Editing are After Sun, Avatar The Way of Water, Decision to Leave, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Top Gun Maverick. And the Gold Derby Film Award this year goes to Everything Everywhere All at Once. Hey, Gold Derby, thank you. Thank you for this award, it's very, very nice. I um, appreciate all of the support you've given, not just to our movie, but to movies in general this year, which has made me very happy. Um, there's a lot of incredible filmmakers making great work out there, and I'm, I'm excited for you to recognize them and to see who else you recognize. Um, I'm very grateful to all of the people out there who've been covering the movie and, um, you know, it's a beautiful thing spending your time discussing the movies and, and what they mean to you and, and giving awards out. It's great. It's wonderful. Um, obviously thank you to Dan and Daniel for making this movie and Michelle and Key and Stephanie Hsu and Jamie Lee Curtis for just absolutely delivering some masterful performances uh, that made my job not just easy but really fun every day so um yeah thank you gold derby and uh keep doing what you're doing everything everywhere was a landslide winner with absolutely no other film coming very close to it in final results on to best cinematography We've seen a wide range of cinematography winners over the past 21 years, including 1917, La La Land, Blade Runner 2049, and No Man Land. The nominees this year for Best Cinematography are All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, The Batman, Nope, and Top Gun Maverick. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to none other than Top Gun Maverick. Wow, thank you so much. I love this award. This is amazing. Thank you, Golden Derby, for all this uh, this attention. <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, Joe Kaczynski, uh, Jerry Bookheimer, and uh, Tom Cruise to all that made this happen, and Paramount for for everything. They've All the support they've given me to make this possible. Without them and my crew that did an amazing job, the Navy, everyone was just... I mean, this is a bunch of colliding of amazing talents that I just, I just, uh, and one more thing, my whole family. There you go. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. This was a much tighter race than some of our other categories today with Top Gun Maverick winning by only 200 votes. Yes, only 200 votes. Now on to one of the most exciting categories of this race, Best Supporting Actress. For our Supporting Actress category, all five of this year's nominees are first-timers. Although Angela Bassett, she's been nominated for five Gold Derby TV Awards in the past. The nominees for Best Supporting Actress this year are Angela Bassett for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Carrie Condon, The Banshees of Inna Sharon, Jamie Lee Curtis for Everything Everywhere All at Once, Dolly De Leon for Triangle of Sadness and Stephanie Hsu for Everything Everywhere All at Once. And the Gold Derby Award this year goes to Stephanie Hsu for Everything Everywhere All at Once. 
Uh, thank you so much, Gold Derby, and all the human beings who voted for this category and for me. I genuinely feel like our movie could not happen without the honestly millions of people who galvanized behind it and I have always thought the internet was a weird place until you came along. <laughs> I really feel like the uh, internet has been my biggest support system throughout this film and I, I truly for the first time understand what it means to um, thank all my fans. So thank you all so much for rooting for me and um, encouraging me to shine bright and to step into my Pegasus horse wings. I, it really does mean so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Wow, out of 2,300 votes, only 37 votes separated first place for Stephanie Hsu with second place for Carrie Condon. Also, Angela Bassett was really, 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 really close in third place. And now it is my absolute pleasure to introduce our next presenter, Gold Derby Senior Editor, Denton Davison. I'm honored to be here today to present our next award for Best Makeup and Hair. The makeup and hair category is often won by two types of movies, either true life films like Eyes of Tammy Faye and Darkest Hour, or sci-fi fantasy films like Mad Max, Fury Road, and Harry Potter, the nominees for Best Makeup and Hair are The Batman, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Whale. And this year's Gold Derby Film Award goes to The Batman. Thank you very much, Gold Derby, for this incredible honor. And I'd like to thank all the people involved in making this great film. Norma Webb, Dune Forsyth, Gemma Caballo, and everyone else who helped me with this great project. Thank you. Thanks for this honor, Gold Derby. Uh, it's amazing to be recognized for the makeup in the film. Uh, I'd really like to thank Colin Farrell for enduring all of the makeup we put him through and for Matt Reeves, uh, amazing vision, uh, giving us this new Batman world. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Gold Derby, for this award. There are so many people involved with this film that put their heart and soul into it. And uh, we are all very honored. We want to thank uh, some key members of our team, Art Sakamoto, Yaron Lundstrom, David Melanowski, Susan Re Susie Redfern, Claire Fluin, Crystal Gerardo, Trent Taft, Diana Choi, and Sasha Camacho for their incredible work on this film. And, and thank you so much. Can you believe the Batman only won this category by 49 votes? The Whale and Elvis were both really close behind in second and third place. Up next, the award for best sound. Does the loudest movie usually win for best sound at the Gold Derby Film Awards? We've seen such recent winners as 1917, Dune, and Dunkirk, so let's see if that trend continues. The nominees for best sound are All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, The Batman, Nope, Top Gun Maverick. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Top Gun Maverick. What should right. we say? We're going to yeah. say, make say some funny jokes and then we will all smile. Cucumbers. Say we're all Cauliflower. the team from Top Gun and we're very honored to have this gold horsey. Oh, Mark, you've got it dialed in. He's done. <laughs> Thank, you very very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. The biggest movie of the year at the box office is also our champ, winning by almost 300 votes. Our next award is for Best Documentary Feature. The documentary category has been one over the years that has avenged Oscar snubs, like Won't You Be My Neighbor and Apollo 11. We've also loved political documentaries. The nominees this year for Best Documentary Feature are All That Breathes, All the Beauty and the Bloodshed, Bad Axe, Fire of Love, Moon Age Daydream. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to All the Beauty and the Bloodshed. Hello and thank you to Gold Derby and all the film lovers, geeks and nerds who voted for the movie. It's been an exciting year for cinema. 
both for fiction and for nonfiction. And I'm really honored to work alongside filmmakers who are pushing boundaries and finding new audiences. Um, this is a collaboration with many, many people. I need to thank Nan Golden and her organization, Pain, Prescription, Addiction, Intervention Now, that was created to hold the Sackler family accountable for the role in fueling the overdose crisis through the reckless and criminal promotion of their drug, OxyContin. When Nan and Payne started doing these actions, they were chanting 100,000 dead. And by the end of the film, they're chanting 400,000 dead. And so I have a message for the Justice Department. And that is, the public is waiting for you to bring criminal charges against the Sackler family. They must be held accountable. Thank you. Laura Poitras has now won her second Gold Derby Film Award after being our champ before with Citizen Four. Our next award is for Best Breakthrough Performer. For the Breakthrough Performer of the Year, we want the award to be presented to someone with a huge career advancement not nominated with us previously in the movie categories. We've been very welcoming to new actresses since women have won 11 out of 13 times. The nominees this year for Best Breakthrough Performer are Austin Butler, Frankie Corio, Danielle Deadweiler, Stephanie Hsu, Gabriel LaBelle. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Austin Butler. Hey, my sincerest thanks to everybody at Gold Derby for this, uh, this honor. I feel very humbled and, and privileged right now, so thank you so much. And thank you for all your support during this time. I, it, it truly just means so much to me. Um, I think about breakthrough performance and, and I think of the fact that I've been acting since I was 12 and um, and have always dreamed of certain opportunities. And um, so to now be be uh, recognized in this way just, just really makes my heart feel so good. So thank you all so much. And uh, I'm sending you a lot of love. Thank you. Stephanie Hsu almost won a second acting category today, but Austin Butler is the winner by just a very tiny margin of 57 votes. Now, please welcome our next presenter, Gold Derby's News and Features Editor, Ray Richmond. Thanks, Denton. Our next category is for Best Visual Effects. Winners of the Gold Derby Film Award for Best Visual Effects in previous years have included a pair of Lord of the Rings movies and two Avengers films. It generally honors big budget blockbusters that make the showiest use of CGI and pyrotechnics with a soft spot for sci-fi and fantasy films. And the nominees are Avatar, The Way of Water, The Batman, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Nope, and Top Gun Maverick. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Avatar, The Way of Water. Thank you for, on behalf of the cast and crew for this award. It's very much appreciated. And uh, I can only speak for the four people who are here, but we stand on the shoulders of near 2,000 people, so it's very much appreciated. We should have seen this coming. The first Avatar film won in 2009 too. This time, The Way of Water had the second most votes of any nominee in any category. James Cameron, take a bow. Up next, Best Animated Feature. Disney and Pixar have been dominant in this category over the years with past winners including the likes of The Incredibles, Cars, WALL-E, Up, Toy Story 3 and 4, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, Inside Out, Coco, Soul, and Encanto. Will it happen again this year? Let's find out. And the nominees are Apollo 10 and a half, Marcel the Shell with shoes on, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, and Turning Red. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Thank you to everyone at Gold Derby for honoring our Pinocchio with the Best Animated Feature Award. This has been an incredible uh, year for the medium. And, uh, uh, you know, every one of the movies that have been in the conversation has pushed the boundaries of it. Uh, I feel very, very uh, happy to accept in the name of Mark Gustafson, myself, 
Shadow Machine, Lisa Hanson, all the animators, uh, all the cast and crew that made this movie together. Uh, and know this, we set ourselves to, to do excellence, to demand of ourselves, uh, of ourselves a hundred percent, a hundred percent of the time. And this gives us uh, a good pat on the back and tells us that uh, we were seen and that in a year that has been as great as this, uh, we can hope to push uh, even more. The idea of these films uh, being invited to the uh, adult uh, table and not be kept in the children's table, uh, that these films are capable of tackling big themes, big emotions, big scope, big ambitions, and uh, we hope to continue a partnership, all of us, all the filmmakers, uh, in the conversation this year and years to come. I hope to continue the partnership with uh, like-minded fellows, including uh, Gold Derby. Thank you. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is only the second stop-motion animated film to win at the Gold Derbies, the other being Wallace and Gromit in The Curse of the Were-Rabbit in 2005. It's also the first Netflix animated film to win ever. Pinocchio was a runaway winner this time, taking the trophy by more than 600 votes. And that's no lie. Up next, Best Ensemble. The Best Ensemble cast wealth has been pretty evenly spread over the past two decades plus between films with big casts like Inglorious Bastards, The Help, The Trial of the Chicago Seven, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, and Crash and those with smaller casts like Closer, Little Miss Sunshine, Doubt, and Mass. So you see, size doesn't always matter. The nominees for Best Ensemble Cast are The Banshees, Minnie Sheeran, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Fablemans, Glass Onion, and Women Talking. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Everything Everywhere All at Once. Hey, Go Derby! Hi, thank you so much for this incredible honor, Film Ensemble Award. Wow, thank you. Uh, by the way, hold on for one second. I got some people that want to say thank you as well. Hey, Hi, Go Derby! Hello. Um, thank you so much. You guys have given us um, so much attention and so many awards. This has been an incredible year, and the, the we, fact did that we did it. We did it. The fact that you and your community have decided that our movie deserves all of this means the world to us. Um, mm -hmm. So, on behalf you. of uh, so many cast and crew members, uh, thank you. We thank love you. you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. This vote wasn't even close. Everything Everywhere won in a landslide by better than 400 votes in giving the movie its fourth Gold Derby film triumph, with nine categories still to go. And now, please welcome back Gold Derby's managing editor, Chris Beecham. Thank you, Ray. Our next award is for best production design. For this category, period or fantasy films win almost all the time, including last year's champion of Dune. In fact, the only contemporary film to ever win the Gold Derby Award for production design was La La Land. So the nominees this year for best production design are Avatar The Way of Water, Babylon, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, and Glass Onion. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Babylon. Thank you, Gold Derby, for this award. I am honored to be recognized for the production design of Babylon. I want to thank our director, writer, Damien Chazelle, Lena Sandgren, Mary Sofras, our producers, Paramount Studios, and set decorator Anthony Carlino and our entire team who came together to create the world of Babylon. I share this with them and I thank you all. Almost all of our production design nominees were first timers, but Hannah Beachler was a previous three time nominee. Our winner Babylon won this category by a pretty high total of over 250 votes better than Avatar The Way of Water. And up next, the award for best international feature. Spanish language films have done really well at the Gold Derby Film Awards over the past 21 years. That includes Pan's Labyrinth, Talk to Her, and Maria Full of Grace. The nominees this year are All Quiet on the Western Front, 
Argentina 1985, Close, Decision to Leave, and RRR. And the Gold Derby Movie Award goes to All Quiet on the Western Front. Hi, I'm Edward Berger, the writer, director, and producer of All Quiet on the Western Front. So thank you so much to Gold Derby for recognizing this film, which I made with many of my colleagues and friends and who I've worked with for a long time. And I'm so proud of all of their contributions to this movie. And it really felt every one of us was a, an element of the piece of the whole. And we made this movie because we felt there was a rise of nationalism around the world. And it felt like the times hadn't changed that much from a hundred years ago of what we'd read in the history books. People felt governments and people fell back to isolationism and nationalism. And we felt that we, especially as Germans, had something to contribute to these conversations, especially since we had brought two wor world wars to the world and that we still feel the effects of it worldwide. And so thank you so much for recognizing us, for letting us tell our story, for watching it, and for letting us take part in the conversation. We're really, really grateful for that. And thank you for recognizing our movie. Thanks. Congratulations to Germany. It's its first ever win at the Gold Derby Awards for Best International Film. It was just a margin of 150 votes over decision to leave. So that's a pretty tight victory. And up next, an award that's been hotly contested all this award season, and that's Best Actress. Meryl Streep's been the queen of Gold Derby Awards over the years, with five previous film wins and two victories for television. But she's not nominated this year. Our list of Best Actress nominees has two previous contenders and three rookies. The nominees for Best Actress are Kate Blanchett, Tar, Danielle Deadweiler, Till, Mia Goth, Pearl, Michelle Williams, The Fablemans, and Michelle Yeoh, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Michelle Yeoh, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Thank you, Gold Derby, for this award and naming me Best Actress this year. It means so much to me that you have embraced our film and supported us all the way. I'm so grateful to be able to do what I love, and it would not be possible without a community of film lovers like you to keep us going. I can't think of a better family to have tumbled through the multiverse with. First, thank you to A24, Leila and the Russo brothers who believed in us, but most impo importantly, my Everything Everywhere family, cast and crew, the Daniels, Jonathan Wong, Key, Stephanie, James Hong, Harry and Jamie Lee Curtis. Love you guys in every universe. And thank you again, Gold Up. This Best Actress race was really, really close between our winner, Michelle Yeoh, and Kate Blanchett. Yeoh is only the second person of color to ever win this category, following Lapita Nyong'o. And now, let's welcome back our associate editor, Latasha Ford. Thank you so much, Chris. And for my absolute favorite category of them all, Best Costume Design. Perry films have often brought us the champions for the costume design category. Some of them including Little Women, The Favorite, and Atonement. The nominees this year for Best Costume Design are Babylon, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Glass Onion. And this year, the Gold Derby Film Award goes to none other than Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Wow. Thank you, Gold Derby. I'm excited about receiving anything gold, especially Gold Derby. I, I have a tendency to be obsessed with the site a little bit. And so uh, coming from all of you out there, all of you Gold Derby participants, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate this honor. We are so happy to see Ruth E. Carter win in this particular category. She won at the Oscars for the original Black Panther, but did not win the Gold Derby Award that year. It was very, very close between several of the contenders, with Babylon finishing in second place. And now, Best Actor. Over the past 21 years, Daniel Day-Lewis has won for Best Actor three times, but so did Leonardo DiCaprio. 
Day-Lewis also won a decade award from us. So is he really the all-time king? Only time will tell. And now on to the nominees for Best Actor. Austin Butler for Elvis, Diego Calva for Babylon, Colin Farrell, The Banshees of Inna Brendan Fraser, The Well, and Paul Mescal for After Sun. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to none other than Colin Farrell, The Banshees of Inna So I would like to thank the people of Gold Derby for this award. Um, and also the fans of Gold Derby, the website. I know that there was a bunch of that uh, not called in, that's a different a different decade, but that you you sent emails in and uh, our major votes or just clicked a box or something. But whatever you did, it resulted in this, which I'm very grateful for. Um, the Banshees of Inna Sharon. The film <clears throat> meant a lot to me in doing and means a lot to me in, in now being still around it and taking it on the road with my fellow cast members and uh, the editor and, and uh, music and Carter and uh, Mikkel and, and Martin McDonough who wrote and directed it. It was such a collaborative effort, both in front of and behind the camera, and um, the kind of stuff that you dream of as an actor when you get to, to work. And it doesn't always come together with such kind of impassioned cohesion as it seems to have on the Banshees. So um, I am humbled and very, very grateful for this. And I would like to receive it in honour of the cast and crew and also the extraordinary people of two islands that we shot on, uh, Inishmore and the Aran Islands and also the island of Ackle, both on the west coast of Ireland. And again, thank you to the fans of Gold Derby and to all you fine people uh, on the website. Thanks a million for this. It's very kind. Colin Farrell is now a very first time winner with Gold Derby, but he did not win this race easily. This was not an easy race. But it was a less than 100 point victory for Farrell over Brendan Fraser, the whale, in second place. Next up, the award for Best Adapted Screenplay. Women have won the past three years for Best Adapted Screenplay, with the victories for The Power of the Dog, No Man Land, and Little Women. Will this streak continue? Let's find out. The nominees for Best Adapted Screenplay are All Quiet on the Western Front, Bones and All, Glass Onion, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, and Women Talking. And this year's Gold Derby Film Award goes to Women Talking. Hi, thank you so much to everyone at Gold Derby for this incredible honor. Um, I'm so thrilled by it. And um, I wanna thank Miriam Taves, uh, the writer of this beautiful novel, and Dee Dee Gardner and Frances McDormand who trusted me with this. and for the amazing conversations I got to have with them in writing the script um, and the cast and the crew who really brought this script alive um, by collaborating so deeply in it every turn. Um, this really this really means a lot and uh, thank you so much for all the support. Thanks. Sarah Polly is the fourth consecutive female winner of this category, but it was very, very, very competitive. The difference between women talking and second place for Glass Onion was literally only 63 votes. It is now my great pleasure to bring back to the stage Editor-in-Chief, President and Founder of Gold Derby, Tom O'Neill. Historically, at almost every major award show, the movie that wins Best Picture almost always wins a screenplay trophy. Well, that's because the screenplay encompasses both the great story and the dialogue, but usually the best picture winner goes to best adapted screenplay. But let's take a look at the nominees for best original screenplay and let's wonder, is it their turn this year? The nominees for best original screenplay are After Sun, The Banshees of Inishirin, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, The Fablemans, and Tar. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Only once in the history of Gold Derby has a duo of two people won our Best Director Award. It was for, as you could probably guess, the Coen brothers for No Country for Old Men. And this year, we have the two Daniels, Quan and Shiner, for Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. So we've got to find out if it's really true 
that two heads are better than one. The nominees are James Cameron, Avatar, The Way of Water, Daniel Kwan, and Daniel Shiner, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, Todd Field, Tar, Steven Spielberg, The Fablemans, and Charlotte Wells, After Sun. And the Gold Derby Award goes to Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert, everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, excuse me, Academy, but we have a Daniel on staff at Gold Derby, Daniel Montgomery, who helped manage these awards and came up with all these great stats. Can we have like half of an Oscar to give him, please? <laughs> The big news in the Best Picture race at the Gold Derby Awards and the Oscars this year is how many blockbusters finally broke through into the top 10 nominees. Remember, the whole reason that the Oscars expanded the category from five to 10 nominees was because of all the outrage over the fact that The Dark Knight wasn't nominated back in 2009. Not at the Oscars, anyway. It was, by the way, at the Gold Derby Awards, and it was also nominated as our best film of the decade. Now, however, this year the Oscars actually have two whole blockbusters. But the Gold Derby Awards actually have three. The nominees for Best Picture are After Sun, Avatar The Way of Water, The Banshees of Inishirin, The Batman, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, The Fablemans, Glass Onion, Nope, Tar, and Top Gun Maverick. And the Gold Derby Film Award goes to Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Hi, Golden Derby. Thank you all so much for everything. We're here eating some breakfast burritos at Delia's because celebrate. we wanted to celebrate these huge awards. What do you think, Daniel? Uh, I just think it means a lot to see the movie recognized. We care a lot about the movie and now we've seen it mean so much to other people. And uh, thank you guys for uh, helping make that happen, getting the word out. And Gold Derby is such a cool website because we get to see a wide swatch of reviewers and it's kind of like the Reddit for film and we think that your opinions matter so much to us that this really means a lot to us. Thank you all so much. Thanks guys, thank you so much. So this was another landslide win for Everything Everywhere dominating 10 categories. If you're wondering, our second place went to The Banshees of Inner Sheeran, and the third place was for the independent film After Sun. With eight overall wins, Everything Everywhere took home quite a few Gold Derby awards, but it's not the record. In the past 21 years, our biggest winner was La La Land with nine awards. Well, that's our show for today, and what a show it was. Thank you to all of the worldwide voters who participated in this year's show. And congratulations once again to all of our 2023 winners. We can't wait to see you once again next year the 2024 Gold Derby Film Awards. Thank you all for watching.